Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, set styles within a web page. And specifically, what I'm showing in this video is how to create an inline style. So, how to format one piece of text or maybe a group of text within your HTML document. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to format this text here members. Okay, I'm going to do that. You just need to click, make sure you've got your cursor in there in the text. I've got this in split view because I want you to be able to see the code as well as um, what happens in the design. So there are three ways of doing this. You can do this in the properties bar and you can also do this in the code. You need to know both methods just in case um, you're asked to do something that's not available in the properties bar um, because in the code you're given many more options. So I'm going to show you both methods. So we're going to go to CSS in the properties down here. If your properties bar is not there for any reason, just go to window and tick uh, select properties and it will reappear. Okay. So whenever any part of your workspace is not there, just go to window and you'll be able to find it again. Okay. And so I'll just put that back. And now I've, I'm going to just click on members and go to CSS here. And then where it says targeted raw, I'm going to click on the drop down here and go to new inline style. And then that gives me the option to format my text as I want in this section here. So I can set my font family. So if I do that first and you'll see, so I've selected that font style. And if you have a look in the code, it's added the style attribute um, and it's put the, the font family name in also. Then I can set the size. Um, so I'll just set the size. Remember the units of measurement here according to the question. So read the question carefully. Um, points and pixels are the most common ones, but it could be any of these. So you need to be aware of that. So I'm just going to set it to 12 points. The color is here. Um, so if you're asked to put in a color, um, you can just type the hexadecimal code in here. Um, there's another video I've created on how to convert um, color formats. So you need to look at that one to see how to do that. And then you've got the option to bold it. So as you can see, all the attributes are starting to be added into the TD tag, the opening TD tag here for this text members. Okay, so all that, that's formatting has been applied to this text. That's what that means. Now I'm just going to carry on and I'm going to put in bold. Okay, so it's added font weight bold, italic, which is font style attribute italic. And then we can change the alignment. Okay, so it's added text align center. So all of that you can do here. Background will add um, background into uh, behind the text. So I'll just put that in and you'll see. Okay, so that's what that looks like. So it's put in the BG color attribute inside there as well. Now, if you're asked to do something that's not within this option, so you might be asked to underline your text. So you just highlight the text. And then if you right click on it, and then you've got some other options here as well. So if you go to style, you've got, so we've already bolded italic here. You can underline. Okay, and that will add the U tags. I don't know if you can see that very well, but here are the U tags, either side of that text to underline it. You also have various other options. So you've got alignments in there already. That's for list formats um, and then various other ones for style. So you need to familiarize yourself with these. Um, so obviously you can add your formatting by clicking on the text, highlighting it, sorry, and right clicking and bringing up this option. Okay, so that's in addition to properties. So you can do it in properties, you can do it here. Also, um, my favorite method is doing it in the code. So if you need to add another style to your text, you would have to put your cursor after this semicolon, after the last semicolon within the tag, but before the speech, uh, the quote mark, sorry, and then press the space bar. And what that does is that brings up a list of various other attributes that you might be asked to use. Um, it's unlikely that you would be asked for these, but it's always um, good to know just in case um, you're asked to add something that's not in either the properties or in the um, drop down right click menu. So yeah, that's what you would do. So you would just find whatever the attribute is um, and it would add exactly the same code in um, to your tag. So that's how you would create an inline style.